So in the recent years, we were working on uh, a model for calorie mutant HSBCs that is based on primary cells that we got from a core blood derived CD34s. Um, the, the main idea was behind that the current models that we have uh, usually use cell lines that already transformed or um, the mouse models that either transgenic, uh, retroviral transduced, more recent, uh, we have uh, knocking mouse models. Mm, but still, these all have, mm, like, let's say, the, the, the CalR, either chimeric for the mouse models. So there's only that the, the, the mutant part is, is uh, human, the rest is mouse. And also, usually, they are overexpressing or ectopically expressing. And we know from, from the mouse models that um, these are, um, like, the, the human and CalR part doesn't bind in the same way to the, to the mouse thrombopoietin receptor than it does to the, the human. So these, um, we can see that, that, that it doesn't give the same phenotype. So we need uh, sometimes homozygous knock-in, which usually doesn't occur in patients to get the same phenotype. So we thought we want to have this really in human, we want to have um, primary cells that have the, the mutation in the endogenous locus where they, they naturally occur to get a more faithful model, more faithfully um, resemble this. And we could nicely see that with a CRISPR knock-in, um, from healthy cells in cord blood that these really transform by the acquisition of the mutation in a heterozygous fashion and that these um, drives them or like primes them towards the megakaryocyte lineage uh, and, and yeah, transforms them to malignant growth. And um, for that, we believe that this is a really strong model, a preclinical model uh, to either check in on, on the underlying mechanisms of the pathogenesis or even use this uh, to screen for um, like novel therapeutics uh, inhibitors uh, whatsoever.